Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil and in this react native video we will learn about the use effect. So we will cover the three points and after these three points you will feel very confident about the use effect and you can use them anywhere whenever you just want to use. So right. So first thing is that what we will learn a theoretical part of that why uh, we have to use the use effect and what is that and all. After that we will use the use effect with the state and at the last we will use them with the props also right so we'll cover everything about the use effect so now let's start with the first point what is the actually use effect so as we know in the functional components we have uh, some limitations like we cannot use the state directly we cannot use a life cycle method directly right so and react native also pushing that uh, we we have to use the functional component uh, they are actually recommended all right so use effect is basically use when you just want to use your lifecycle method in your functional component then they will help you a lot they will uh, cover the three uh, lifecycle component one is component did bound component did update and component did unmount all right so uh, if you don't know that how we can use state in the functional component then i actually already made a video that you can get the link from the description box if you just want to get uh, then you can also watch this video so now let's start with the second step that how we can use the use effect with the state right so this is my functional component and here i can then i cannot use the directly state and uh, life cycle method so i must have to use the hooks so first of all i am just going to import the two things use state and use effect right this is for the state and this is for the life cycle method so first of all i am just going to define a one state so that I am just going to make a const of array like uh, count and second variable for set count, right? And we will just uh, extract them from use state and default value is let's say one, right? So here I am just going to put the data mm, like this and you will find that uh mm, 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 mm. okay so so i just have to put the count here sorry that's my bad all right so you will find fine this is the default value one here all right so first of all let's make a button so that uh, we can just update this value on a button click so let's import the button and uh, let's put the title like uh, update state and let's close it and we can also make a um, on press event mm -mm. and on press press let's uh, call uh, arrow function and let's just use a set count and in the set count I can just put the my current state plus one so that it will increase one point on every click all right so this is about uh, the set state not about the uh, use effect all right so now let's start with the use effect use effect as we know i, I already told you this use for the life cycle method in the functional component so let's use it use effect like this all right so we can define like this and we must have to pass a, a callback function here so and now let's console dot warn it and let's write something like uh, test use effect right so you will see that whenever our component will be loaded it will be called automatically right so here you can see that it will automatically called here so it will work like a component date mount so if i just put here state uh, which is count now it will be automatically update on every click right you can see that it will be just called on every click so that means this is work like a component uh, did update right so here you can see that the two points if i am not going to update my state here then it will not going to call here you can see that on click it will just not going to close that means it will automatically detect that if state is going to update then this should be called all right 
so this is all about that uh, how we can just use it with the use it with the state so let's make a condition uh, inside it right so for that i am just not uh, i'm just going to make a one more um state like data and set data for update this data and uh, use state and initial value can be like initial data we can just put here initial data so i can just um, print it here also like this okay so let's i'm just going to make a condition here if count equal equal to 5 all right then uh, set data will be updated like uh, uh, updated data right so whenever it should be the the, uh, the count will be 5 it will be updated here so let's try so for that I just actually have to increase the update the state also of count so let's one two three four and now you can see that it's updated is here so that means we can put the condition like here also in, uh, inside the use effect right so this is all about the state so now let's see that how we can use it with the probes right so for that i actually don't need here use effect and i don't need here uh, data and i don't need uh, this thing also here i just need a button for now and i am just going to import my um, component which is the product so let's zoom it out so that you can see it clearly so this is uh, i have a simple component here so i am just going to import in the app so that i can just pass the props here so let's import product from um, component and products and this is by default uh, imported so I don't need to put here brackets so let's use it directly here like this okay so products I got this content from here so now let's pass some text here so let's say I am just going to pass here data and this is the count whenever count will be increased that it should be update here right and how we can uh, get this updated thing in the use effect we will see so use effect is already imported here so let's use use effect and pass uh, arrow function here console dot one I can just product props I can just write like this and let's uh, see the props here all right so whenever it's just uh, mounted you can see that we already got a uh, props here or uh, console here so let's I'm just going to click it and now on every click you will see that we are getting this updated here all right so it's it's a similar to the component did update whenever our new props will come uh, component did update lifecycle with cold right so this is working like the same so let's try it once again now you can see that it's coming on every uh, update so if I just uh, remove it on uh, update my component and upload update my props then it will just call a once time not again so here you can see that the initial data is come but whenever I am just going to press it the state is not going to update that means props is not, not going to update and use effect also just uh, not calling uh, by default right so this is all about the use effect if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care